you could say I've been hibernation for over a year. And if you know me by now, I make fake promises. I said I was back on YouTube. It's been a year. But I'm back. I think. What's going on guys and girls? Stewie here, back again with a new video. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Where the fuck have I been? I've been everywhere. Not really, I've sat right in this chair doing other things. <laughs> Working and stuff. Basically, I moved everything to Twitch. That's where my main platform is right now, gaming over there. And it's good fun, it's good fun. But I've neglected my YouTube channel. I'm getting subscribers for videos I uploaded a year ago. I think it was time to do a video. I mean, the past year I did do like two videos of guitar covers. Um, one being a Green Day song, one being Billy Joe it's himself, sorry. But no, when you get some reactions on the go, I get a lot of comments saying, when are you back? Um, and yeah, I finally decided that maybe it's a time now. I'm on a little bit of a downtime when it comes to Twitch. I'm getting days off left, right and centre at the moment with work and COVID issues. So I thought, fuck it, let's do it. I think we're going to start off with a bang though. Um, we're going to be reacting to Ed Sheeran's Bad Habits with Bring Me The Horizon. I'm looking forward to this. You know me by now, I will go in the background and how I know artists that we are talking in this here video. Um, but I'm renowned for the pop punk kind of stuff, punk rock, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I like everything. But um, as today, we're talking about Ed Sheeran. Uh, Ed Sheeran for me, um, he's just a really all round talented guy isn't he? He's, he I don't love him I don't hate him he's just there you do hear a lot of him on the radio and when he brings a new hit out it is kind of overplayed on the radio um but he's a talented guy he's very talented very good songwriter you know he's worth his millions and millions now um and he's really yeah he just seems like a cool guy I wasn't expecting this crossover um although I did know he liked you know metal and stuff like that and rock um he's hit on in past interviews before in fact he was a big fan of um charlie simpson's band fight star did you know what fun fun, fun enough one of my favorite records growing up was that uh, first fight star album right. i love kind of singers. charlie just got a rough go i mean yeah, i remember that was there was, there some was good a good moment yeah. but like that i love that kind of music i love so, like song songs song song songs with a heavy background like i would love to make a record like that but yeah i've got nothing to say about him he's just one of those guys that yeah you just hear on the radio and i just know he's very talented and i respect him for that he's just i don't love him i don't hear him he's just there kind of thing for me uh, although i was big fan of his christmas song he brought out at christmas with elton john um that was a banger uh <laughs> yeah i think it's just because we've had you know christmas songs with the years just overplayed every year and this seemed like a brand new Christmas song that was going to be a big hit that will start hearing every year from now on in. I'll probably get sick of it another 10 year, but it was a good song, I have to admit. Bring Me The Horizon. Where do I start with this one? I've knew about them for years, but I've never actually, you know, sat down and listened to them properly. I've probably heard them on radio here and there and knew it was them, but I've never actually got into them. But I've knew about them for years. Um, I'm sure there's a song that brought out uh, I can't remember now, it could be a couple of years ago. And it was on the radio quite often, but it wasn't that classic Bring Me Hither Rise and um, sound. Um, people are gonna, probably going to hate me for this, because they're probably here because of the Bring Me the Horizon fans. And that's what this channel's all about, guys. Um, it's, you know, reacting, reviewing these songs. You never know. After this, I might become a Bring Me the Horizon fan. <laughs> Uh, you know me, I talk too much. Let's just delve into this. Um, yeah, this is Ed Sheeran's song, Bad Habits, with Ed Sheeran, of course, but featuring Bring Me the Horizon. I'm very, very much looking forward to this. Um, yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm actually excited for this video. It's been a while since I've done something like this. Well over a year. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, there's always three. Two, one. Cool. 
It just sounds like the original song so far. It might be a different guitar there with a bit of chorus or something different from the original, but it does sound like the original so far. Yeah, it's definitely more rocky, heavier. Those palm muted power chords. It's more beefy. Well, <clears throat> you know. I'm expecting it quiet and then just go real loud. It's just, you can tell it's building up. Yeah. That's really, really, really good. I'm impressed actually. So that's Bring Me Horizon singing. I don't, apologies, I don't know his name. But he's suiting this song. I love that raspy voice he's got. Gah! That. I thought it was going to be just Ed there, but they're switching. Yeah, switching. It's really good. I love this more than the original. Here we go. I find this really bizarre that the most heaviest part of the song is this bit when the previous bit is more like the chorus that you thought that would be heavier I love it, it's, it's good it's a good, good collab and that just sounds like the original doesn't it? Conversations with a stranger. It just sounds original. Oh. Yes. Very good. Very good. Whoa. I did not expect that end. I knew that they screamed and they were heavy, but I did not expect that end, man. What an end, and that, that made it. That made the song even more better than it was. No, that, that was awesome. Um, I was expecting it to be heavy, but you can't imagine it before you listen to it like that way. Um, bravo to the singer and Bring Me Horizon. Like I said before, I apologize, I don't know his name. That was awesome great vocals he's got this ris raspy voice to him that i really liked it like, like he's got gravel and he's like stones gravel in his throat it's, it's that's just i love that kind of voice and that's shut that scream at the end um absolutely amazing ed sheeran just sounds, sounds like ed sheeran um that's nothing bad he just sounds like he does in the original track maybe they just took the original uh track um the master recordings and then 
brought Bring Me The Horizon in to, um, you know, do their vocals, but maybe record the guitars and drums with the original master recording, if that makes sense. I'm guessing, obviously, Ed had something to do with it. And I know for a fine fact this came from um, Brit Awards. Uh, Ed was at the Brit Awards, and he um, performed live with Bring Me Horizon, this song. It was a huge uh, surprise, I, I guess. Um, I don't know whether they recorded this track, as, you know, this track, right, we've just listened to. Not a live performance, obviously, this track. Um, after that live performance, if that makes sense. I'm guessing they did before, because the Brits wasn't too long ago and this was already on Spotify and Apple Music and stuff. But man, that was that was um, that was brilliant. I really enjoyed it actually. Um, the ending though blew my mind. I didn't expect that at all. But I liked it. I liked the uh, the chorus where they kept changing. A really good as aspect as well. Um, like I said before, I find it really weird that, you know, it's in a late night bill. That is the chorus. But it's the softer part of the song. And then the part after, that's heavier. You just, you think just logically in music sense that a chorus, when it comes to rock music or whatever genre, is generally the most beefier part. But it wasn't there um no i really like it i really like it um and that's it really nothing much to say um hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed me being back also didn't mention that you know new uh new brandon changed my name because i thought my old name was a bit complicated with the three in it instead of an e um so yeah i changed my brand in the look i hope you like the new look i hope you like the video and uh, I guess we'll do another one soon sooner I will not wait another year I'll probably do one next week in fact if you've watched this video uh, all the way through I thank you very much put down in the comments below what I should react to next make sure it's a popular video you know like a popular ish song nothing you know like indie bands or your band um, I'm not ready I'm not in a big you know scale uh, viewership right now to you know expand and explore indie bands yet um make sure it's just you know maybe green day i haven't even listened to pollyanna yet and they're bringing a new album out i guess called 1972 i think and um, it's not out yet but yeah that kind of way something popular that i haven't heard of yet maybe in the past year that i just totally got struck under the rug and forgot about um yeah let me know in the comments below as always guys thanks so much for watching thanks for sticking around I uh, love you all very much. Thank you for all the subscribers of the past year. People have been something to me over a year and I haven't done a video and I feel like shit for it. But thank you so much. Like last subscriber was Laney. I can see you written there. Zach on the run. Thank you so much. Raymond, David, Eileen. Thank you so much for subbing. And I'll catch you all guys next video. As always, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Snapchat, Discord. Is that what I normally say? I don't know. Links in the description bar below. I've got a link tree there. Check it out. I, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Love you all very much. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, peace.